Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick video to compare a vintage G.I. Joe action figure with the modern equivalent. It's been a while since we've done this, and it's usually pretty fun. Uh, so let's take a look at the vintage Laser Rifle Trooper Flash and the modern 25th anniversary uh, Flash action figure. This Flash action figure is the swivel arm version from 1983. Uh, Flash was introduced in 1982, the straight arm action figure. In 1983, they added swivel arm battle grip, which added a swivel at the bicep. I thought it would be better com to compare this with the modern version of Flash because the articulation is a bit more similar. Uh, this Flash action figure had a visor, a clear visor, that clipped onto his helmet. Uh, he had a laser rifle with a long uh, plastic cord wire that came and connected to his backpack. Removing Flash's helmet, we can see the very plain head sculpt. And Flash, of course, has these red pads, uh, these protective pads for his laser rifle uh, with the quilted pattern on them. That's really what Flash was known for. Although there was another action figure that had similar pads, Grand Slam, but Flash was really known for those red pads with his laser rifle. This modern version of Flash from 2008, you can see, is in a different scale. He's taller. He came with an action figure that says codename Sergeant Flash. Uh, like the vintage one, he has a clear visor, and that visor can be raised and lowered, and the helmet can be removed. Uh, and that head sculpt, I really think, just doesn't really add much uh, to the vintage. I don't know if they were trying to capture the uh, generic and plain nature of the vintage head sculpt, uh, but they really Really just didn't improve on it. Modern Flash has a laser rifle in silver plastic with that long plastic wire, just like the original, uh, but it's a little bit thicker, and there are some other details on the modern laser rifle that were not on the vintage. And he has a backpack like the vintage figure, uh, but this one has a bit more detail, and it has two holes that you could connect the wire to. Now this wire is a bit thicker, and I have a very hard time getting the wire to connect and stay connected to either of those holes in the backpack. Unlike on the vintage figure, the belt is removable, which is okay, I guess. Uh, is that really important? The modern Flash has those red pads, and that checker pattern, that quilted pattern, is much smaller. Uh, the lines are much closer together, and here it feels less like detail and more like texture. We can look at the file cards now, and I have the full card back for the modern 25th anniversary Flash. Uh, and this artwork here is similar to the artwork on the original card, but... It's just not quite as good. Uh, it looks kind of airbrushed and blobby. Uh, the text on the file cards, though, are very similar. Uh, just a little bit of change of wording here where it says Sergeant Flash and just a couple other things. Other than that, they really didn't rewrite the file card. As to whether I prefer the vintage figure or the modern, this one's pretty easy. I prefer the vintage figure by a pretty wide stretch. I mean, the modern figure is fine. It has modern articulation and that's all well and good, uh, but they really had an opportunity to improve on the vintage uh, to maybe fix some of the problems, like with this long plastic wire. They didn't fix it. In fact, they made some of the problems worse. Uh, so really, the modern version of Flash just seems to me like an uninspired figure, uh, and so I do prefer the vintage. That was my quick comparison of the vintage G.I. Joe Laser Rifle Trooper, codenamed Flash, with the 25th anniversary modern equivalent. I hope Hope you enjoyed it. I've got a lot of vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews coming up on this channel. You don't want to miss them, so make sure you subscribe and keep checking back for more vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews.